dangerous side effects. Tonight, a new effort is being made to keep them out of your child's hands. These packets of white powder are usually sold at convenience stores and can give people a meth-like high. It can even lead to violent behavior. But tonight, Foreign Reporter's Julia Salamone shows you how Lee County Group is taking a proactive approach to fight this problem. Emily, these bath salts have been banned in Florida, but even that isn't enough to keep them out of the hands of people that want to smoke or snort them. Pick up your bath life. Okay. William Shreve is the head coach of Suncoast Archery Team, and he's aiming to keep kids on target. There's not a lot of avenues for the kids to go, and uh, with our group, we're trying to promote um, better decisions in the youth. And William knows just how hard it can be to stay focused. He's been a recovering alcoholic and drug addict for the last 10 years. One of the biggest emerging threats to our youth, William says, is synthetic drugs like bath salts and K2. These companies who, who make these products always find another way to um, use different verbiage on their package to get away with selling it, such as not for human consumption. Florida has banned bath salts, but like you heard William say, it's not keeping users away. Snorting or smoking bath salts give users a meth-like high and even can lead to violent behavior. Experts now believe the bath salts may have led to the incident in Miami when a man started chewing another man's face. It's just a tragedy that, you know, the FDA and the U.S. government hasn't woke up. But now William and the Coalition for Drug-Free Southwest Florida is alerting parents about the dangers of synthetic drugs. Today's coalition meeting is going to talk about synthetic drugs, identification, and prevention. What we're hoping is the kid who's shooting arrows at 11 is not going to be in rehab when they're 21. And again, these bath salts are extremely dangerous. They can cause extreme reactions like hallucinations, paranoia, and increased heart rate. Live in Collier County, Julie Salamone, Fox 4, in your corner. All new at 6, an intricate underground.